think the first thing is to recognize that that question even matters mm -hmm. and saying, okay, <laughs> this is data that helps me understand what it means to be a team, what perform what's going to enable performance. And just, I think, asking the question is a great first step. Yeah. I think the, the other point is to try to consider the level of energy mm. in the room yeah. when you have a meeting, for instance. And it's my personal metrics, but when I want to understand if a meeting was a successful meeting or not, mm. I try to perceive the level of energy, if people are energized or not. Mm. And if there's a difference between the beginning of the meeting and the end of the meeting, and at the end of the meeting, the energy is higher. Mm. Okay, we did a good up. job. Yeah. yeah, of course. I guess there's also your own feelings as a barometer. Mm -hmm. You know, what's my level of trust? Because if I am feeling trust in this group, probably there's trust in the group. Yeah. And so if I'm feeling like, oh, God, I don't want to go into this meeting again, you know, then there's a problem. So I think our own experience is a good signal. You're right. And let me add one thing. Uh, sometimes the risk is to ask people, how are you feeling? <laughs> hey, how's it going? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> good. Yeah. Because you have to answer. Right. So, and you look at their face and they say, I'm great. <laughs> I'm great. And the point is, let's start from yourself. Yeah. Uh, if you start to share with your team mm. your feeling, mm. well, it's probably easier for them to share their real feeling. Because yeah. otherwise, the risk is to say, how are you doing? I'm great. Because sure. it's right to answer like that. So authenticity creates permission for authenticity. I think and so. It yeah. starts to get you that data and then you can do something about it.